Before we begin, remember to like and subscribe, as your support is really appreciated. I also want to give thanks to Predator Cues, Town Chalk, and Kamui Tips. Without them, these videos wouldn't be possible. Philly Fingers here, playing Rotation versus the Ghost. Rotation is a game that's similar to 9-ball, but using all 15 balls. The 1 ball is placed at the head of the rack, the 2 and the 3 on the corners, and the 15 ball at the center of the rack. Since I broke dry, I will now play as the Ghost. As the Ghost, I will attempt the 1 ball in the corner. We score by getting the point values of whatever ball we pocket, so by pocketing the 1 ball, I will get 1 point. The winner will be the first to get 61 points, because the total sum of all the balls is 120. Now as the ghost, I'm going to try to bank the two into the side pocket. By making the two, I now get two points, so I have a total of three. And that's the idea of rotation. Try to make points, get to 61 before your opponent, or once in a while you want to play safe. Here, instead of making the three in the side, I'm going to try to snooker my opponent and put the three behind the 12 ball. The reason I didn't try to make the three in the side is because I didn't like where the four was. I didn't feel I could make the four after that shot. I now come and play as myself and I have to kick at the three ball. I miscued and I missed the three ball, so now the ghost will get ball in hand. Similar to nine ball, but even more so in rotation, with all the balls on the table, you want to play safe, you want to get ball in hand to kind of ensure a better run out. Now that I can easily hit the three, I feel I can get closer to the four, nudge it in the proper direction. Now that I have the four lined up, I feel good about making the four in the side and then following forward to kind of loosen up the five. I want to come right into the five ball. Now because the five didn't move as much as I wanted, I'm now going to play safe on the five. So I played safe. As the ghost, I now have 10 points but I left a very thin slight cut on the five. So it's not the best of safe, but I'm still leaving a difficult shot, which is what I was hoping for anyway. Now playing as myself, I'm gonna try that extreme cut and I actually overcut it. By missing the five, this now brings the ghost back to the table where I'm just gonna switch hands, play this left-handed so I can get position on the six. I'd rather play left-handed whenever possible as opposed to reaching for the bridge or grabbing an extension. Now the balls are really opened up and I should be able to run out. I have the six ball in the corner. I can float over to the rail and now play the seven ball in the side. When I play the seven in the side, I just want to make sure that I come back out, clear the nine and the 14, leave myself room for the eight. Now that I left myself good room for the eight, I can come back around for the nine ball. By mistake coming around, I hit the 15, which is not what I wanted clearly, but I got lucky. And every once in a while, we all need to get lucky. I will now make the nine and come across for the 10. This now gives me 45 points. So I only really need to make two more balls. So at this point, I just want to make the 10 and come back out for the 11. And once again, I got great shape on the 11, but then reality sets in where it was too easy of a shot. So easy that I kind of took it for granted and I end up missing the 11. That was the game ball that would have given me 66 points and the win. So all those safes that the ghost played in the beginning led to a great run out, which eventually I choked and failed. So now playing as myself, I'll make the 11 ball. And this is the problem where if you don't finish your run, you let your opponent come right back in. So we see how in the beginning, playing as the ghost, playing all those safes, scoring all those points in the beginning to start that run was great, but you have to finish the run. And missing that 11 was so crucial because now there were only five more balls to make when I come back to the table. Um, they're spread out, there's no clusters to worry about, and as you can see, I'm just running through them at this point. And even here, where I make a mistake, and I was actually trying to cut the 14 and come off two rails to get position on the 15, 
I come up well short, right? So it looks like a mistake because it is a mistake. I don't get the exact leave I want, but there's always a shot. I'm at the table, I have control, so I can bank the 15. And that's what you kind of want to avoid. You don't want to let your opponent back at the table because anything can happen. That's my take on rotation. Till next time.